Hey, 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 good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for October 16th, 2020. Well, my goodness, we had quite a volatile day. The market continues to react and emotionally react to the back and forth political battle that's going on over stimulus. Yesterday, we were just looking at some pretty dismal um, uh, news about potential stimulus, that it was unlikely to occur. And then we get the news that the president's willing to move and try to um, increase his offer, that um, Nancy Pelosi is um, willing to continue to talk. And then those hopes return that we're going to get a big stimulus check. And then we hear this morning that Although those two parties are kind of coming together and, uh, you know, may eventually hold hands and sing Kumbaya, um, that the Senate is not interested in a big deal. Um, my goodness, we just continue to be um, led around um, by this and it's creating an awful lot of uh, back and forth in the market, creating an awful lot of whipsaw and a dangerous trading environment for most traders. So... How about we just settle in, buckle up, and let's take a look at what all this means for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, guys, it's really going to be all about the potential follow through. We do have, this is a beautiful rally back yesterday and popped up here holding on to some price support in the chart. So we rallied off of that pretty substantially. But let's take note that did we really resolve anything? Well, when we really take a close look at price action, notice that here in the Dow, we rallied up to price resistance of those lows. So we really didn't fix anything yesterday. And what's going to be important is whether or not we can get follow through today. Now, as you can see right now, we're getting the morning pump up. Seems to be the, the method every morning anymore. We just pump the market either one way or another. So we're getting that morning pump up off of an overnight futures low. But there is still that question out there, those questions out there circulating with rising jobs numbers and coronavirus topping or infections topping 60,000 um, yesterday. Some concerns starting to creep in again. So what does all this mean? Well, first off, we need to recognize when we look at the chart that this right now is a lower high in the market. That means that we are technically, having made a lower low here, we are still technically in a potential bigger downtrend, although we do have this shorter term uptrend in play. So we did break down through this uptrend of support okay and we are now back up here challenging price resistance in this chart so we've got some work to do and there's a little bit of concern still here to um, weigh on the market if this downtrend is in play and this little downtrend is in play it's going to be really important for today's price action to follow through we need to be able to break above that little downtrend hold it as support because if we chase if we chase right into price resistance and we happen to get that failure that bad news report and get that failure it is could be very damaging so be really careful here chasing into this market this morning we need to see some real bullish follow through here um, or we could still be substantially in trouble and then heading into this weekend also adds another complication let's take a look at the spy spy let's take a peek here spy similar situation yesterday we rallied right back into that price resistance of that move and kind of finish the day right there there so it's going to be extremely important for us to get that follow through now we're trying to follow through here this morning we're really trying to hold on to this in favor of that stimulus or in hopes of that stimulus but one one has to ask the question with rising joblessness with coronavirus coming back around here into the fourth quarter and rising back up will the stimulus even be enough to offset the potential damage that could occur 
from this virus? And have we pushed these stocks even well beyond um, their actual true valuations with all this speculation on stimulus? Hard to say, but let's kind of just be a little bit calm. Take a breath here this morning. Don't chase into this move because we still need to make sure that we can prove that follow through or we just run into these resistance levels in the chart for, uh, or we're buying into those resistance levels where we could get that potential failure. Let's take a look at the QQQ. The NASDAQ really turned out to be the weakest yesterday. Uh, rallying back up and notice all we did, we have an evening star pattern here. And that evening star pattern occurs at a lower high. And although we rallied back yesterday, we didn't recover the support, um, the support of that evening star pattern, um, the bottom of that. We filled this gap and we did come close anyway to filling that gap, holding some support in here on that news report rallying back up. But let's keep in mind, we haven't resolved anything here yet in the NASDAQ um, and we still hold this lower high. So there is some worry out here. There should be a little bit of concern and we should be a little bit careful about chasing into that move. If we take a look at the uptrend here, we did hold that uptrend. So we do have that hope that um, it will come back up, but just be really, really careful. So many times in the past, guys, and I, I will admit that I did this 100,000 times on my journey to uh, finally becoming a full-time trader, is that I would chase stocks on this, these emotional moves right into price resistance and just happen to catch it right ahead of the failure back down. So watch that close and be careful not to over trade this market, particularly heading into the weekend. I know we all want to see that stimulus come around. Everyone wants that big check. Um, I get that, but let's be careful here. Now, IWM did the very best job yesterday, really coming back strongly and that was really um, supported by uh, we saw a little bit of oil sector perking back up yet yesterday we saw uh, financials trying to hang in there so rallying back up this is a best looking chart right now in the market from yesterday we came down here tested this support bounced off of that strongly but we do want to recognize the fact that we still have significant price resistance risk in this chart that goes way back. So um, although this is much better than the other indexes in the rally back, we still need to see that follow through. We need to see us break out and break through those big resistance levels in the chart. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX, boy, this thing has just been battled around and battled around and we continue to be bounded um, on both sides of this by that 50 day moving average. We broke it temporarily. We broke it and then that uncertainty this week came in and we started to come back above that 50. But yesterday's um, big drop didn't push us back up here quite as high to retest that 200 day. So perhaps we are seeing this volatility slowly drift south. Um, that hopefulness of uh, stimulus may be working here, but let's also kind of take a look and notice that we are still holding above a 26 handle in the market. Um, and it just seems unbelievable to me that we are attempting to push out to new record highs in the market, holding the VIX that high. And also keep in mind, we have a pattern here that could be forming that would not be um, bullish for the market should that play out. So let's, right now we can hang our hat on the hopes that this downtrend is going to hold. And we need to start seeing some of these lows breaking instead of just flipping all over the place. I suspect we probably won't see that till after we get through this election and the uncertainty of, of this election. Let's take a look at T2122. This thing has been a great little indicator um, helping us see the overbought condition. And notice that that rally back yesterday is pushing us right back up here into that overbought condition. So if we continue to surge up this morning and get that follow through, we could easily be up here in that bearish reversal zone again um, on T2122. Now, should we get a stimulus deal? I suspect we can move up here and stay up here for a little while 
if we continue to kick that political football um, around, um, um, pulling on the emotional heartstrings of the market here, we could see an awful lot of additional whipsaws as well. So be pretty careful. Um, one thing you always want to pay attention to is when we're overextended in the market, to just be careful not to chase, be careful not to overbuy or overtrade. Um, hopefully that's helpful to you. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Our economic calendar has quite a little bit that we could react to this morning. Let's um, pay attention particularly to this retail sales number. Right now, um, the consensus estimate is looking for just a slight increase in retail sales. Um, should that, remember, they were looking for a slight increase or improvement in the jobless claims as well. Um, that didn't turn out so well. So if they happen to miss on this, if we see our retail sales slide, that could have a negative effect on the market. Watch that closely. So these are market moving events. We also have the industrial production number, business inventories, consumer sentiment, treasury statement, and the treasury international capital today. And we do have uh, James Bullard out from the Fed um, continuing on this Fed talk parade that we've had here recently. So all those things can move us around a little bit, particularly these top two industrial production and retail sales. We'll want to watch those this morning um, closely as they come out. Let's take a look at um, our earnings calendar today. In our earnings calendar, we've got about 20 companies reporting earnings and a few notables that I have um, noted in the blog. If you want to catch them all, um, run over to the blog. You'll see a link just right below the title of today's video. There'll be a link to the blog if you want to read that. Let's take a look. Um, ALLY. ALLY has been on a major upside swing here. Alley Financial, beautiful upside run here in this bank. And you can see we have a pretty good setup here. Um, we've rallied consolidating over and we're trying to see some bullishness come into that this morning keep an eye on that as that reports and how we might react to that uh, bk um, is reporting um, new york bank is going to um, report and you can see trying to maybe <sighs> lift a little bit but we're just kind of stuck right here after a big rally yesterday and let's also keep in mind that we are still challenged by this downtrend here in that chart so watch that carefully um, it, it could be um, either direction on that news report CFG CFG is reporting whoops CFG reporting today citizens financial we'll want to keep an eye on that we've got a little back and forth in today's price action this candle I'm sorry about that this candle right here is um, indicating today's price action so we dropped and we're trying to rally back up got some resistance in this chart to work on um, keep a close eye on that JB Hunt um, one thing that I think is pretty bullish in current market is the idea of transports. Um, and transports have been really, really strong considering the fact that everyone's buying online and we're shipping everything. But unfortunately this morning, it looks like JB Hunt disappointed the market and we have a substantial pullback showing here this morning on that. So a little bit of a lower high. Let's watch that one close. Could be running into a little bit of trouble there. Uh, KSU, um, Kansas City Southern Railroad, will want to watch that. SLB will be one of the first of our oil sector stocks to report and it looks like this morning we're getting a little bit of a pop and drop we gapped up a little bit this morning and now pulling back let's watch that closely slumberger has certainly been in a pretty ugly downtrend but we're trying to support this now with some price um, upside price action so a little bit of a bottom maybe possibly coming in let's watch that one closely um so there's a few um, on that list. There's a few others in the morning prep report if you want to go over and take a look at that blog. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please make sure and click that subscribe button on YouTube and also that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. Also, please, um, if you find these videos to be useful, helpful to you, 
please click that uh, thumbs up button, leave a brief comment, and always, always, always feel free to share these videos on your social media platforms. Thanks to everyone who does that. You guys are awesome, awesome, awesome. I truly, truly appreciate it. So let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. And remember, there is no recommendation to buy or sell any of these securities. And we're really going to have to be focusing carefully on the earnings reports because a lot of these earnings reports could really mess up some great setups in trades. And with that in mind, take a look at a stock that I'm kind of keeping an eye on, FCX. I believe copper has a pretty good story moving forward. And um, watching this pretty closely and I want to buy this. I can tell you, um, been thinking, I was thinking carefully about potentially adding or, or buying this uh, trade back. We traded this over here in right way options um, off of this move, made beautiful money in this, but watching this right in here. Now I still think there is that outside opportunity or chance that we could kind of drift over here toward the trend before it goes. And we also have the complication of this earnings report coming in here very, very soon. So it's one of those, um, do I or do I not? Do I wait? Do I stand aside kind of questions? I haven't decided what I'm going to do here yet, but we really should keep an eye on FCX. It's looking good whether you decide you want to be in this or not. Take a look at retail. Boy, retail had a good move yesterday. Take a look at LB. LB had a really nice pop up yesterday off of this price support. You can see where my alert is on the chart and that alerted yesterday. We're trying to get a little follow through. Now I will not um, uh, rule out the possibility that this may still need to move over here toward the trend a little bit before it goes. And I also want to recognize that this has a bigger um, overall downtrend that we're still trying to defeat and um, deal with. So keep a close eye on that. But LB picking up nicely and looking good here. And other retail, lots of places um, were looking good um, and just a second I can't type correctly this morning um, GPS um, take a look at the gap stores nice little rally up we saw that bullishness yesterday that could be the beginning of the next leg higher might want to place a price alert right in here see if I can pop on through GPS looking good I saw um, Walmart responding to some price support here, rallying higher yesterday off of that move. We saw stocks like uh, Dollar General um, gapping and moving higher. Costco um, moving up after a little bit of pullback. Beautiful upside potential move here. We have um, retail in lots of different places like Nike um, bouncing back yesterday, Foot Locker bouncing back. So retail seems to be coming up strong here right now. Watch some of those charts looking pretty good um, overall. Um, also, you might want to take a look at some of the automakers. General Motors perking up here. Big, strong candle yesterday on General Motors perking up. Now this still has this ugly, ugly downtrend that we're trying to defeat here. And we want to hold this support level. So watch that carefully. As you can see, I've placed an alert. I'm watching this stock pretty closely. This could be the beginning of that next leg up where we finally break that big downtrend. Um, also saw similar kind of things in Ford. Ford picking up here trying to get a little bit stronger. So keep an eye on that. And there were quite a few stocks in the building industry. Um, take a look at uh, Darden, uh, not Darden, um, DHI. There we go. Uh, DR Horton. That's the one I wanted. Uh, DR Horton. Take a look at here. We have a beautiful potential setup um, in this chart. Nice bullishness yesterday pushing on through trying to perk itself right out of here and by the way guys these are blue sky highs as those builders continue to remain very strong and you'll see the same kinds of things if you take a look at toll brothers um, also showing that same kind of bullish pattern hanging in there very nicely trying to move itself higher so keep an eye on some of those they're looking pretty darn good then really the stock of the day yesterday nio stock of the last couple of days and IO. Right way options. I myself hold this trade. I actually hold the stock in this position and have sold um, short calls against it. 
And what I'm looking at is a stock that's just in a runaway move to the upside. Um, incredibly bullish. Be careful not to chase this trade up. Um, I am. Um, I sold the 30 strike calls against this. I am really hopeful it does push on through, and I get called away from the trade. Um, I would. <laughs> that would be the best of both worlds. But we'll see in here. Um, looking really, really good. NIL being very, very strong. Watch this, guys. Any rest or pullback, and it may need a considerable rest or pullback could set up a more opportunity to the upside as these um, electric car manufacturers seem to be continuing to receive just wild, wild speculation buying on them. Um, also, keep a close eye, guys. FedEx, I keep mentioning this every day. FedEx, UPS, both of these stocks, I think, have good opportunity considering all the online sales that are going on um, and likely going to continue and maybe even increase with coronavirus numbers really starting to spike up. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you, um, even more importantly, a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And guys, be safe out there. With these numbers cropping back up in coronavirus, be safe. Um, be careful. Um, could be um, could be we could see some dangerous times um coming in the next few weeks if we can't get this under control as that weather starts to cool off. Um, pretty ugly situations starting to form up out there. So watch it. Be careful. Be safe. Protect your family. And I will see you all right back here bright and early Monday morning. Have a great weekend.